Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am gonna to put together some gift basket ideas for you. Most of these materials that I purchased are from the Dollar Tree. Um, some are not, just depending, but everything can be bought there. So it's a, definitely a price, good price point. Um, the first one I'm doing is a hot chocolate coffee basket. Um, I just crinkled up some tissue paper to give myself some height. So I put the back it's kind of full and then the bottom is flat. But you just want to build it up. You can use tooth, um, newspaper too. So I decided I wanted my marshmallows to go in the back. And I want them to be kind of the backdrop of all of the ingredients. And then at the Dollar Tree, I picked up these coffees. So I'm going to put them on this side. And I got a Junior's, two Jim Beam, one vanilla, one original. And then I have this Junior's coffee from New York. So if you're from New York, you know about Junior's. And then this hot chocolate. So these I want to be the front pieces to this basket, right? So then I just crinkled up some tissue. I made like a little wad out of it putting it on either side. I just want some color. And then we got Dollar Tree cookies, right? So I thought, well, let's put some cookies in here. So we're gonna do over here some Nutter Butters. And you just wanna fill it up. The point is you wanna make it look full, as full as you can. And it's all about presentation at this point. Then you could put some other candies in here. You could put a towel, I have this one. Um, that says, but first coffee. So maybe I'll put this on the front, right? And give them a towel. I also got that at Dollar Tree. And then you can just kind of pull things up and give it a good height. You kind of wedge them off of each other. So that is the basket itself. I'm gonna use some Dollar Tree ribbon and some cello. Now, had you had the gift bag containers, you could, Put this in a bag but i don't i couldn't find any just plain clear ones so i just cut a big piece of cello wrap that you get on the roll at the dollar tree and i'm going to show you how i do it so i'm going to pull you up well i'll let you see the bottom here first so i make sure this is centered from side to side and then i pull the front and back up to center it in the center I could have given myself a little more cellophane up top, but we'll make it work. Didn't really have a lot to work with. Here we go. Okay, so the basket is here. You want your front here and your sides. And then I just grab and pull, right? I just grab and pull from both sides. Doesn't have to be overly tidy. You're pulling everything together. These sides here, don't worry about these sides, but I do want to worry about my towel here in the front. I want that to be tidy, because that's kind of telling us what's in the basket. Now I'm up at the top here, I'm gonna take a ribbon, and this is where if you had two hands, that would be fantastic, but I don't. So, I just, do this, hold on and pull. And it doesn't matter if it's not super tight at the top because I'll show you here in a second. But I have the tight, the top pulled tight. Now I have these sides that are open. There's a couple things you can do. What I typically do is, let me pull you a different direction and I'll show you. All right, so this side here are open. I take a piece of tape, right? I kind of fold this over just a little. I take my tape and I pull it down and towards the back. And I just tape it off right there on the side. And that just secures everything. Obviously this is plastic. You're not gonna, it's not gonna hold it perfect, but it's gonna be enough to get you where you need to go. And that is our little gift basket. This is more low and round opposed to a high tall one. And then you can trim up your top here, make it all pretty, put some prettier ribbon if you want. I liked it just kind of plain. And I'm gonna be giving this away at a raffle at my work. So I think everybody will appreciate the coffee, the cookies, the marshmallows in the back, and it looks super full. 
But I had some little candies. You can add little candies in there. Candy canes, lollipops, anything you want to go in here. So that one is complete. I'm just moving it off my desk. Now, this one here is gonna be a bit smaller. Um, same concept, we're gonna open up this baggie here. This is definitely a Christmas themed item or winter, but I'm pretty sure it's Christmas since it says uh, letters for Santa. So I get these baggies, these bags at Dollar Tree, which is fantastic. And then I believe I even got this ribbon at the Dollar Tree last year. I'm just gonna open it up. It's always good to have um, your ribbon, your twist tie, whatever it is that you're gonna use, it's good to have it out and cut. Don't try to do it while you're holding things with your hand. Alrighty, basket number two. I got these mugs at the Dollar Tree. The difference this year is there's no bump on the nose, but they're still a decent size mug. I don't think quite as large, but big enough. I have some more of these little coffees that I got at the Dollar Tree. You can also just buy coffee if you don't have to have those. Also, these hot chocolate mixes will be great for different ideas. Also, if you're looking for a vessel, look at this one I found at the Dollar Tree. The back is higher, so it automatically will hold things up back here. I thought that was great. But right now we're doing this one, and I'm not even going to use any stuffing in it because I feel like I'm going to have enough. But I might. Hmm. Here, I'll put this little little piece of tissue in the bottom just to give it a little height. There we go. So I have a coffee in here. Then I found some different candy ideas or options. So there's a Godiva. And here's the Andy's candies in here. And then look at this. It's a snowman cookie from the Dollar Tree, right? So I can put that in here with this coffee, snowman cookie down in the box, in the container with some candies. Done and done. I grabbed these bags from the Dollar Tree. If you had some candy canes, you could throw those in here. I will probably add to this at some point. And the other thing I would probably recommend is putting your mug in the bag before you fill it. Right, so you would put it down in the bag like that and then just pull it down to fill it, but that's okay. I could put some other things in here, but I feel like this is full enough and I have a ribbon somewhere. And then I have this fun snowman, snowflake ribbon. Now this one I know is gonna be a little, t a little uh, tight at the top and I'm okay with that. I'm just going to turn it to get that really super tight and you can also there's a twisty tie maybe we'll do the twisty tie that comes with it to really get it a good tight twist and to get it on there and then we're not depending on the ribbon to hold it up so that's on there it's tight it's gonna stay where it's at and then I'm going to take this little ribbon here and tie it up. How fun is this? Again, if you're doing like a teacher gift, you could do something like this. And then you can add a gift card or something else. But we've got our snowman theme from start to finish. Snowman mug, snowman on the bag, a snowman cookie. There's coffee in here. We have some chocolate. You can put some candy canes, and I think this is perfect. If you don't like the printed bag, they sell clear in the party section. You can do a clear bag. I just think that's a fantastic little gift idea. Now, on the same front of that, you could get one of these. This is just a coffee cup. 
You could take the lid off. You could see if this coffee, you know, fill that up in there, fill this with candy. What I'm doing is I have this mug and then I have, I'm gonna buy some coffee and put it in a separate bag and put these together in a gift bag. But I'm gonna get some fancy coffee and this is the gift for a gentleman in my life who I know likes coffee. And these are great, they keep your coffee nice and hot. And I got this on sale at Kohl's. So there's always that. I mean, drink cups and vessels are great for this type of thing because you can fill them up. I'm making room, I have one more thing. Um, these towels that I got at the Dollar Tree. One side also says, but first wine, so I can do a wine gift. And then the last idea that I have is I went to, if you have any Starbucks lovers, I went to Starbucks. These cups are out this year. I just bought this yesterday and today is Sunday. So I have on my team at work, Oh, five people. They also have these in coffee cups, but I just thought these would be more appreciated by my team. But it's five cups for $20. So you're getting a little more in the container itself, but isn't that so pretty? So these come with, look at that one in the teal. And then they have that one with the green and red. Oh, so pretty. This one might be my favorite. The pink one with the red poinsettia. And then we have this green one here. And then they all have matching straws and the matching lids. So what I am going to do is you have to find the right lid for the right cup and the right straw. So let's put those together. And then I'm gonna fill these cups right with all this different candy first i have purchased some grinch um kisses i think these godivas will fit down in there and i'm just trying to find candies that will fit with the lid on so i need to go buy some more of these because i know my team will like it you could get a starbucks gift card to slip down in here you could put some hot cocoa in here a little nip maybe if it's that type of a friendship where you get a little um, couple nips of alcohol and then you gift them this cup which they can then use especially if you're doing it early in the season then they can use this cup all summer or all winter for their christmas cup for water because we're all trying to encourage more drinking of non-alcoholic beverages so i thought this was pretty cool now if you have warm weather drinkers or you want to do like a hot chocolate theme starbucks also has i think it's five of the uh, hot cups for twenty dollars and you can you know obviously open them up and get everybody a cup you could also do this for you know your family if you have like a you just get each other a little something or you're buying gift cards but you want to put it in something fancy you know, or something different. You have the variety. And these, I don't know if you can see, but they're glittered. There you go. So this was my ideas of filling up cups, basically, or, you know, gift basket, gift bag ideas for, fro for folks for the Christmas season. And these are things, because I feel like we spend a lot more money sometimes on the container than we necessarily do with the things in the gift basket if that makes sense like i don't want to be spending twenty dollars on a package and then not give them some nice things inside that package so i feel like if we can save where we can at the dollar tree that's what we do here folks that's what we do i need to put that away because i'm not ready to fill those cups yet except for let's look at these because i'm dying here Okay, these are adorable. These are the little Hershey Kisses in the bottom. This one says stink, stank, stunk. Oh, they're all a little different. Oh, look at this one. It's the Grinch in a Santa hat. This one has that his heart grew three times that day. That one says Grinch. And I feel like I had one just a second ago that had, oh, the Grinch face is on the bottom of the ones in the snow hat. These are adorable. So I'm definitely putting these in my cups for my team. And then we'll see what else 
I come up with to put in there. I, I can show you when they're done. But I hope that, that was helpful to you and that you enjoyed um, my little take on some DIY economical Dollar Tree inspired gift baskets. All right, everybody, you have a good one. Bye.